In the last video, we talked about the idea of uh, something being valid. In particular, we talked about the idea of a measurement being valid, meaning uh, does it measure what we think it measures? And we called that construct validity. We said a measurement has construct validity if it is measuring the underlying construct that we claim it's measuring. So if we have something like intelligence, uh, or and we have an IQ test, we're saying the IQ test is measuring the underlying construct of intelligence. But there, you know, people could question that and say that it is not a valid measure of that. So that so that is a concern, uh, demonstrating the validity of your of your measurement techniques, of the measures that you're using is a big issue in psychology. And you can write entire papers just on the validity of a measurement, uh, coming up with a new measurement and demonstrating that it is a valid measurement of the variable or construct that you're working with. Uh, but we talked about construct validity, and that is sort of the overarching type that we're getting at here. Everything we're going to talk about can be considered uh, sort of a, a, a sub-validity underneath construct validity. Um, so let's talk about some of these different types, types of validity. And again, these all have to do with the validity of measurement. Um, when I say that there's subtypes of construct of validity, what I mean, I don't want this to confuse you, what I mean is that all of the things we're going to talk about here are really different ways of trying to show that you have construct validity. So all of these are, are, are aiming at, this, at the same goal. They're all trying to say that you, just to show that you are measuring what you think you're measuring, that you're measuring the construct you think you're measuring. So the first type of validity uh, that I want to talk about is what's called face validity. And we use the term face just meaning on the face of things, uh, how does this appear to be valid or not? So really, if something has face validity, we're just saying that it appears. It appears or looks valid. Uh, meaning that it appears to be measuring what it claims that it's measuring. This is, this is subjective. This is not a highly scientific, objective uh, measure of the validity of your of your measurement. Uh, this is just looking at it and saying, yeah, that sounds about right. That seems like it would measure what we're saying it measures. So for example, if you're developing a questionnaire that is measuring depression and you ask someone uh, a question like, uh, during the last week, have you had uh, uh, persistent um, negative thoughts about life? Uh, that on the face of it seems like that would be a valid question to have on a depression questionnaire. Now there's a couple of points about this. First of all, obviously, just because something seems to be valid doesn't mean it is. Uh, so this is not uh, something that you would use to say, oh, clearly my, my measure has face validity, therefore it is a valid measure of the, uh, of the, the thing I'm trying to measure. Um, you would have to, uh, if you, it's more a matter of if you didn't have face validity, you might have to do some other work to show why your measurement uh, doesn't seem to, doesn't look on the face of it like it's measuring what you claim it's measuring, but you could present some very good evidence that it is still doing so. Um, a, a bigger and more important issue here with face validity is that it is, uh, it is not, I'm going to say not always desirable. It is not always desirable for a measurement uh, to appear to be measuring what you want it to measure. For example, with some mental illnesses, we have questionnaires, we have scales that we can give people that ask them a bunch of questions, and we know that people with certain mental illnesses tend to answer in a characteristic way. They tend to give certain answers on those tests. And so they can help us in diagnosing uh, uh, and identifying uh, an individual as having a particular mental illness. Well, sometimes people don't want to be diagnosed as having a particular mental illness for one reason or, or another. It might have something to do with insurance reasons, or it might have to do uh, simply with not wanting the stigma, with being embarrassed about it or ashamed of it and, and wanting to not seem like they have this problem. If 
the measurement has face validity, meaning the questions, uh, it is quite obvious what the questions are asking about, then the person who is answering them uh, will be able to see that. They will be able to see that face validity and they will be able to get an idea of what this thing is trying to measure. Uh, and that means they then have the opportunity to decide whether they want to try to fake that test or not. And so there are some, uh, there are some, uh, some of these tests for different mental illnesses um, or psychological characteristics or traits where they intentionally uh, give questions that seem to have on the face of it absolutely no relationship uh, to what it is actually measuring. And some of these uh, have really bizarre questions, things like, uh, do you enjoy taking walks in the pouring rain? Or do you like reading mystery novels? And for reasons that I, we don't need to get in here, into here, and in some cases that aren't even well understood, uh, sometimes characteristic patterns of responses on these questions that seem to be totally unrelated uh, actually can be you know, relatively good indicators of the person having a particular condition or psychological characteristic. So uh, sometimes it is very desirable to, to, to a certain extent deceive the person that you're giving the measurement to. Um, and in that case, you do not want to have uh, face validity in your measurement.